but yeah, it's a struggle big time. Uh, okay. Wind off the left is a real problem. Okay. You know, two seven spin, two eighty. When you when you get that higher spin rate with the wing going across, you lose quite a bit of a distance. Yeah. So yeah. uh, is that still spinning left to right there? Yeah. Just checking. It. Yeah. So if it's spinning at three point eight left to right, what the overall spin is? That's pretty decent then, isn't that's it? That's good. Yeah. yeah. I think my bob session had been a little too far back. For okay. So I was just making sure that yeah. when it's further up I wasn't uh, spinning more. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> That we had originally, yeah, but then do that we can redistribute that further forward. forward yeah, the theoretical term should kill a bit more. Should that was out here, it's slightly out the heel going to nine, so it's, it's still keeping that spin down. Yeah. Normally, if we had one out the heel, we would have spiked it to about three, two, three, three, three thousand. Yeah, 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 okay. liking that. Yeah, I'm going to give it a go. Give it a bash on the course. Yeah. Let me know what it does. Maybe I'll, maybe if you can maybe do a few holes with him. Do we need to walk a few holes with him? Just, do, just, just sure. do a few holes with him and then we can just see if we need to maybe make the head a little heavier mm -hmm. so we can put extra glue into the yeah. sole here. So we've taken that out of there and just try and move a little bit more into there as so well. So you can keep the overall weight, what it was. Overall what yeah. it was. But also see on the on the course if that's going to affect you. If mm -hmm. maybe a light head is going to suit you better than a heavier head. Yeah. Okay. Two sixty six. So he's at two seventy. Yeah. Hundred and sixty seven yards. Hundred and sixty seven yeah. flag. You can What was that, Scott? That was an eight iron. Hey, and uh, what was your yardage you had? Uh, 160, 160 flag. 160, yeah. Good shot. Yeah. So, a pretty fairway split and dry for Scott. And we're going to approach the 433 yard par four. It's hosing down, and that was almost the easiest birdie I've ever seen. Easy Scott's going to practice in a few different places on the green. He's going to get a feel. Obviously, these greens here are very, very slopey. So, um, just putting a few balls down, hitting a few different putts, getting a feel. And obviously, you know, it's definitely a little bit more undulating than some other courses you might play. Always good just to try and dial those fields in. Uh, Two sixty off the tee, one eighty to the bin, six on. Scott's just put a ball down, going to hit a chip with his iron shot with his eight iron. I'll show you that in a second with a pan around. So there's his eight iron shot again. You can see how simple they make it look. 
this is a 440R par 4 driver 8, uh, what's that, 25 foot, 30 foot, probably would have wanted it closer. So a little bit more chipping practice, probably won't see a putt, might see a putt, I'm guessing we might not see a putt on this hole. Just going to get a feel for the runoffs of the greens, how they're stopping or not, how firm the first bounce is. And then working in all the slope ideas as well, because you've got to remember these greens like the first, just loads of slope. So chipping to them, look at that running on. Building up all these kind of feels, that's caught the tier. If you've got a tier basically right off the back of this flag, the better one. Again, we'll catch the tier. No, literally just shy of it. Not much between those two, but that gives you an indication of the slope of these greens. No, nope, we are going to see a putt. That has come on, so we're going to have a putt as well. Scott is wearing shorts, if you're wondering. He does live in Florida now, but this is his, going back to his Scottish roots today. So you added some lead tape to Scott's driver? Yeah, so we've added a little bit of lead tape, put it a little bit more forward just to kind of uh, move the CG a little bit further forward. Scott has a tendency to have a little bit as a high spin on the uh, on the off, or like on a not quite centre shot. He's a bit of a, a fader as well, left righter. So um, just added a little bit more weight, just move it a little bit further forward just to kind of make the spin numbers a little bit more what he wants. Because we took the weight off on the range and he was worried a little bit yeah. that it feels too light. So this is now trying if we put it back with weight, but again, packing it more forward. Absolutely, so we his original head um, we uh, on, on the range was a little bit heavier and the new one was a touch lighter. So Scott likes the feeling of a slightly heavier head. So we just kind of reconfigured where the weight was. We made the back weight a little bit lighter and we're pumping more weight towards the forward end just to give it a little bit of a lower spin rate. Was that let up to a number? Yeah. What yeah. number? Uh, 193 was to the red. To the 90 to the front. So you wanted to leave 90 in? Uh, just keeping the, basically keeping 90 that. 90 from the front because the, the left bunkers on the left start at nine, just beyond 90. Uh, okay, so you were taking them out of yeah. play. Yeah. yeah. So Scott's ball was just back here. They moved it forward to the number they want to hit around the 100 tree, 190 yards in, 100 yards. They just moved it to that position. Easy. Backed up the previous statement. I've gone really good at the passer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So they've got a boom position set out at the back again on practice days. You see this so much, just putting to the different positions. Obviously they put the pin in a spot. It isn't going to be in this spot for tournament days. So we've still got the lead tape on the back, which is at the front. This is dog legging to the right. Yeah. 
point. Seven from Drive the two. and into the flag. One, three, two. Nice. Back in Orlando, too long now. Yeah, I'm, I've gone soft, mate. So we've got Stenson just walking the course on the left here as well. It's yeah, raining, so I think yeah, some guys are happy just to walk. Yeah, I'm kind of out of this membership here, but okay. I don't it enough, Scott's going to rock on in his shorts. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see how these guys get so under par. Obviously, there's no wind protecting this course today, so but there isn't many troubles. I mean, you can get in trouble if you're hitting it offline, but if you're hitting it online, these are long holes, they've got pretty basic clubs in, and they're good with them. Always a pleasure to spend some time with Scott. He's thoughtful, he's a great player, and he's keen to share some of his ideas as well, which I really like learning from him. What was interesting for me from that fitting is that range to outside on the course. So interesting and so important for you, hopefully, to take away from this, to get, you know, the numbers give you a benchmark, they give you an idea, they help work with his insecurities on what a shot might do. But getting it out on the course, and I know it's hard, is always the best way to actually see if any of these numbers are really being put into play or not when you've got narrow fairway, left to right, right to left, shaping shots, trouble on the right, trouble on the left. That transition between just whacking balls on the range where they do build into a rhythm, a repeatable and fixable rhythm. So lose one to the right, they kind of fix it on the next one. Compared to that almost one go out on the course, obviously took two goes but it still gives you that reflection of how when the numbers or the delivery isn't correct, the kind of punishment you get, which sometimes I think people forget when they're on the range. Post comments down below, I'll try and do more of these. Always like spending time with these guys. They're always very interesting, lots of things. I think we can all learn from them. Remember, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon as well. If you don't already, make sure you get the notifications. Loads of videos still to come, and hopefully we can all learn and move forward a bit together.